Dr. Anita Rothard, founder of Never Stop Learning, returns this week to talk about being home alone. Welcome back to the program, Doctor. Thank you. Nice Good to, to be see here. You. Now, why is staying home at lo alone so unhealthy for people with disabilities and injuries? It is unhealthy for anyone, anyone to stay true. alone. Think about this. When we're going to punish somebody, mm -hmm. even if they're in prison and they're bad, we send them to solitary confinement, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And when we have people who are doing things against the law, we put an ankle brace and they say, you have to stay home. Right. Aren't we doing the same thing to the people that we love? We're keeping them home in a sort of prison mm -hmm. because they can't get out. Mm -hmm. They need to socialize. That not socializing mm -hmm. has a disastrous effect on health mm -hmm. and we see a lot of depression we see a lot of anxiety. We see people when they stay alone who lose interest in things. In they life lose. itself, right? Well, yeah. they, they have nothing to they look forward to. to. And yeah. they say, to, they say yeah. to me, I have no reason to get up in the morning. Yeah. How sad. Yes. Okay, so, so Never Stop Learning provides an outlet where they can have a place to go, mm -hmm. like you and I get up in the morning and go to work, right. and we look forward to the people we work with. Yeah. Well, Never Stop Learning offers that same kind of camaraderie, that same ability to socialize, doing fun things that you like to do, as well as increasing your life skills so that you can live more independently and not have to require uh, outside assistance okay. uh, as early as you might otherwise. What are some of the options uh, that are available at your school? Well, we try to make our program available so that everybody can come who wants to come. Our fees, we think, are very reasonable. Mm -hmm. uh, on average, runs about $10 an hour overall, mm -hmm. but we offer part-time, two days a week, three days a week. We even offer a one day a week program. Mm -hmm. uh, we're even talking with somebody now about doing afternoons uh, because they want to come, they work in the morning and they want to come and partake and gain some skills for their employment. They need to get more customer service skills. Okay. And they're afraid that you. they can't move yeah. up in the job market unless yeah. they have these customer service skills and mm -hmm. they don't know how to acquire them. Right. And that's socialization. That's the talking socialization. With people. Talking with people, learning how to smile, learning how to give eye contact mm -hmm. with the other person that you're talking to. Mm -hmm. So they can work and then they're going to come in the afternoon to go to school with us to learn those skills. Love it. Because, you know, we don't teach those skills in the school. No, we don't. We just expect them to somehow know how to socialize, to know how to get along with other people, and to feel comfortable doing it. Um, but those are skills that can be taught. Okay. So how does uh, Never Stop Learning help um, for a better, healthy living environment? Well, first off, we're going we're gonna to focus on healthy eating. Okay. We're going to help th focus on exercise. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a reason to get up in the morning. You're going to have some place to go that you can look forward to and know it's going to be fun. Be right, because it's something you want to do when you get there. We talked about that when you were here with us last. Right. Our programs are designed for the individual to look at their interest patterns and what they need and then develop a program around that that's mm -hmm. going to meet their needs so and it's basically keep them customized. It's customized. It's, we only are going to have 40 full-time students when we're at our max. We're lucky. We have six students now. And you open. You just opened. We just opened like right after Labor Day. Okay, so um, you've only been open. Like and a so we haven't been now. open yeah. very long. Yeah. And our first week open, we got six students. So we're now, if we're if we're later on in the viewing public, we mm -hmm. probably have more than that. Yeah. But 40 will be our maximum. 40 full-time students. Okay. So for that, we have four teachers. So it can be very customized because one person is only going to be working with 10 students mm -hmm. ever and so you get to have a lot of individual attention and everything can be focused on what your needs okay. are. Can you give us some ideas of how you engage the adults? Well, adults being engaged really isn't any different than young people. Okay. You know, young people 22 mm -hmm. somehow become 32 and become 42. <laughs> and on. <laughs> and on and, and on. We know, you know? Yes. So it's the same thing. You have to find an area that they're interested in, and then you have to develop a program or a routine around their area of interest. Okay. Can you give us an idea now that you've, you've said you've, you have some students? Um, can you just share maybe one of the programs that you've developed for 
one or two of them. Okay, well, we, ha we have one person who's very interested in music. Not interested in a lot of academic stuff, but is quite creative. Loves to sing. Mm -hmm. Wants to learn more about playing the piano. So we have two instruments that are, we have one full, full size piano, and we have one smaller keyboard piano. So we can work with them to learn to play music on the piano. And, and sing. And to sing, yeah. and we have sing-alongs. Yeah along with him, mm -hmm. and then allow that person who loves to sing get up and entertain us. How fun. And that gives them a sense of self-satisfaction yeah. as well as feeling good about what they've done. Right. And again, I'm being in front of people, interacting, and, yep. and that self-confidence that they need to do that to go out and do other things, That's I would right. think. That's beginning. So yep. a lot of our, a lot of the people that we deal with, we will start with what I call baby steps. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're only ready for baby steps. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the baby steps and then we'll move on and move on and move on. We had a lady come this last week who takes the handy bus by herself and does very well and she got off the handy bus and got to our front door and froze. Oh dear. N new environment. Strange yeah, environment, yeah. not not happy in places she doesn't know. Uh -huh. So it took some time to work with her and to have her feel comfortable where she's okay. at. By the end of the first day, she was just fine, there comfortable where she's at. Okay, we only have a minute left. Can you just, we'll touch on it now and you're gonna come back and we'll talk about it a little bit more, but what type of programs do you have? Just give us a couple bullet points. Oh goodness, we do coping, we teach coping skills, anger management, meal preparation, gardening, healthful living, recreation we have arts and crafts music we so have yoga everything we do. Everything. it's a big program okay well we'll get more into that next time we see you perfect thank you again for being here my pleasure thank you thank you for tuning in to aging gracefully on suncoast fyi we'll return right after the break